So we will be talking about a successful recipe uh, to secure your fleet, fleet of clusters using GitOps policies and service mesh. All this in 10 minutes. So we'll cover the ingredients of our recipe, which is GitOps, OPA Gatekeeper, Istio. We'll bring it all together using an architecture diagram and we will do a demo. And yes, our slides are available at this link. So if you download the PDF, you will have access to all of our slides. The first ingredient of our recipe is GitOps. If you have a small, you know, a few clusters, you can always do some context switching. You can connect to your clusters. You can do a kubectl apply to apply the configs, policies, deploy your application, and that works well. But as you start having a large number of clusters, tens or hundreds or thousands of clusters, that approach typically falls apart uh, very quickly. And oftentimes, if you have a large enterprise, there are people within your enterprise who have to work with one another, such as a security admin, a platform admin, application developers and operators, because security is everybody's responsibility. So you can, you can do this by having a single source of truth for your configs, for your policies, and for your app manifests. And typically, the way you can build this system at scale is you can, you can, have, you can build CI CD pipelines from your Git and use a, use a product like Config Sync or Argo CD to sync those configs onto your clusters. So moving on, and we'll, we'll show you how all of these uh, different personas work with one another using Git in our architecture diagram. The second ingredient of our recipe is OPA Gatekeeper. OPA Gatekeeper enables you to write policy as code and provides you multiple enforcement points for your policies. So starting with CI/CD, you know, you can shift way left using OPA Gatekeeper. And then the second step is during the admission time, you can check if the incoming resources are allowed on your cluster or not. And, and after the effect also, you can configure a continuous audit of your resources on your cluster. So you are always making sure that the target state that you have specified for your resources is actually the actual state. And it does that by letting you define a constraint template. So a constraint template has the rego, which is the actual policy logic. And it does have a schema for the constraints. And multiple constraints can actually use the same template, uh, but you may have different parameters that you're passing through each one of these constraints, and which means you are maybe um, enforcing or auditing a different rule. So you can use OPA Gatekeeper to uh, implement security, governance, or compliance for your Kubernetes clusters. Moving on, the third ingredient of our recipe is Istio. We won't go into details of everything that Istio does, but for this talk, Istio enables the service-to-service -service communication securely at scale, and it also helps with traffic shaping, consistent observability, for your services and applications. Uh, and it is a layer seven Roxy, uh, has a control plane and data plane. So moving on, you know, now we talked about all the three ingredients for our recipe, and I will hand it over to Matthew to bring everything together. Perfect, thank you, Poonam. So, Actually, let's put the three ingredients together, right? And as a platform admin, I want to provision my clusters, the fleet of my clusters. In there, I want to um, install uh, a GitOps engine, in our case, ConfigSync. If you're using Argo CD, Flex CD, it's working. Istio as a service mesh. Um, and then I want to make sure that the security admin, she is able to um, deploy and actually design and code uh, their own poli gatekeeper policies, uh, constraint and constraint template on their own and in their own uh, Git repository. 
And with that, we could sync and deploy uh, those policy across the fleet of clusters. The other persona we, uh, we just saw earlier is about the apps operator. I want to deploy apps. I want to ship value for the end user, right? So how I could be onboarded and deploy actually uh, the manifest of my apps. But finally, what we want to do is having this enforcement of policies, of gatekeeper policies in our case, at different level, right? One example could be uh, locally on the pre-commit hook uh, with the apps operator, um, designing and coding their own policies uh, and actually manifest, sorry, but evaluating against uh, the policies uh, designed by the security admin, right? The second step could be on a pull request review, right? Or merge request if you're using GitLab. Another uh, step, the third step here, like Punam illustrated, having actually OPA gatekeeper as an admission controller in your clusters, right? Different level of enforcement. So actually, um, let's, let's see a demo about that um, here. What we want to show you is uh, actually a repo that you could reuse uh, here. And uh, we have different folders uh, where we are deploying, uh, for example, the ingress gateway, right? We are deploying some config for Istio. Um, to have some security best practice in place. We have application, but we have also the policies here. It's in one repo, it could be in multiple repo uh, for the purpose of this demo. It's one mono repo for all of that, right? Um, policies, I don't know if you're familiar with Gatekeeper, but typically I have uh, some constraints and here the constraints are all about um, security best practice and features with Istio. We took three examples, having uh, MTLS strict across the mesh, right? Um, having also the sidecar injection uh, for any namespace in this mesh and not having anyone bypassing, for example, on a pod, uh, having this bypassing annotation um, to opt out for being part of the mesh. Uh, here we are also, like I mentioned, forcing the strict MTLS uh, for the mesh and avoiding, if you are familiar with uh, Istio, some concept where people and apps operator could bypass actually the uh, mesh-wide uh, configuration. Um, that's part of uh, maybe seven or eight constraints here. We are forcing also authorization policies to have fine granular um, uh, communication and policies in place between the different microservices within my mesh. What I want to show you here is actually as an apps operator, what I want to do is deploying um, an application, right? So if you see it quickly, I have a service account, a service, a deployment. But what I'm doing also is trying to bypass the injection of my pod, my deployment, right? I'm also not injecting the label and the sidecar proxy um, injection. I'm also disabling the MTLS strict. So um, what I want to show you here is I'm not doing that in a cluster, but look at the uh, pull request checks here. Actually, the CI is complaining here, right? And that's interesting information that I could have here. And uh, if I look, for example, at the summary of um, this uh, information here, I could see uh, in more details that I'm running gator test um, and I'm not able to see you in details here um, for the technical issue we had earlier, but here I'm running Gator test. Gator is a CLI provided by the Gatekeeper project, CNCF uh, project around uh, OPA, actually. And this Gator test will help me to test my manifest or any manifest coming in in this pull request against the security policies and Gatekeeper policies of my company. So here I could see uh, a very, uh, I could fail fast and shifting left the evaluation of such constraint, right? So I'm making sure that the apps operator are not at all bypassing such security best practice for Istio. And I'm not waiting to have that actually in my cluster, right? So here I have another pull request, um, the same app, but without trying to bypass the best practices. And here uh, all is green. Um, the check is uh, very um, happy about the evaluation of my policies. Um, Gator uh, got uh, successful uh, here. Um, 
validation. And the rest of the demo that you could reproduce with the GitHub uh, repo is about, hey, I'm a platform admin, and I don't want yet to merge this pull request to deploy this application from the apps operator. I want to test that on a staging cluster, pre-prod cluster, right? So for example, here, what we are doing is actually targeting this configuration for GitOps configsync and targeting not anymore the main branch, but we are targeting this feature branch. I want to test it and deploy it, synchronize this uh, application manifest with the staging cluster, right? So here, what I could do, uh, but we don't have time for that, merge a pull request and seeing the deployment on the cluster, testing and seeing that it's injected in my mesh with security best practice. And uh, that's the end-to-end -end flow uh, for making sure that uh, any deployment is uh, actually secure and following the best uh, practices. And that's, that's it for the demo. Great, thank you, Matthew. And to wrap this up, you know, we tried to do everything in 10 minutes, uh, but you do have access to the demo that uh, Matthew and I put together and you can, you know, play with it yourself. Uh, but to wrap it up, you know, if you look from left to right, we showed you how you can shift left for your policies. Uh, if you use Google Cloud or GKE, you can also try Policy Controller, which is actually based on top of uh, a Gatekeeper, and you, you get value out of it really quickly. And then last but not, not the least, on the right-hand side, you see some additional checks like if mutual TLS is enabled on your, on your uh, mesh or not, along with some other policies, and you get the, the status of all of these out of the box. Uh, again, uh, there is a link to the demo. Uh, there is another talk in the same room in one hour where Matthew is going to go a little bit more deeper into building and deploying the OCI artifacts with Helm charts the GitOps way. And uh, I will be available on the Google booth, P25, on Thursday. And if you have any questions about policy, you know, come find me for Kubernetes governance, security, compliance. Um, we can have a conversation on those topics. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone.